Mr. Conductor, and I'm going to tell you a story about trains, folks far apart, and the magic railroad that brought them together. Every story, like a railroad, has its heroes. Meet Thomas. He's our number one hero. Hello! But he's running a little late today. This is the island of Sodor, where Thomas and his friends live. It's at one end of my special universe. I like helping out here. By the invitation of Sir Top and Pat, of course. Five, six, seven, eight. Gordon. That's a good engine. I'm counting how many seconds late you are. <laughs> what does that sign say? Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. <laughs> sign, Pedicle Railway, so top of hat. But you weren't on time for the top. And you're being bossy, Gordon. <laughs> now, please excuse me. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's looking after us while Sir Top of Hat takes a much needed holiday. Oh, I think we can take care of ourselves. Get out of my way! Oh, I have unfinished business here, and I want to finish it fast! The diesel tens back! Oh. Yes, ten out of ten. Devious deeds and brutal strength. A blast from the past who hates steam engines. Well, maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here after all. On time. At the other end of my universe, far away across oceans of time, up and over Muckle Mountain and hidden deep in a valley, is my hometown, Shining Time. Every now and then, there appears a sign that points just round the bend to a place you'll find. Covered in clover, the magic comes over you, showing a bright on time. This is your shining time, climbing through stars to your own cloud nine. Soft strokes of Skies brightening above your shining time. And by the way, I think that you're going to help me and Thomas somewhere in this story. If Diesel has unfinished business, there's sure to be trouble right around the corner. Concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines from crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're red. I was naughty and Sir Topham Hat told me to think about all the ways I can be really useful. Then I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hat says, Thomas. the harder we work, the less he'll need diesels to help. Help you? <laughs> you'll always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Aren't. Are. Now, I've come back. To find a lost steam engine. What? I'm gonna destroy her and dominate you. And then you'll be nothing but useless scrap. Right, Pinchy? Big bully. <laughs> Stink up! We're really useful engines. You won't dominate us, and you won't destroy her. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. I want to fetch him now. What lost engine? Job's finished. I reckon Shining Time is the best welcome 
inside of any town in our valley. <coughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Billy's old map sure helped a lot. He's on his way back now, is he? You hear that train whistle sooner than it hears itself. <coughs> but I can't see any tracks around here except for the ones that you travel on. It's a mystery that make this land so... Magical? Well, I better be off to Muffle Mountain. I promised Mr. Stone that I'd clean out his yard today. Does Burnett Stone ever give you a smile? No, but he doesn't frighten my horse either. Which means I don't think he's a bad man. I think he's just sad. I didn't know that in Muffle Mountain there was a secret that Burnett had shared only with his childhood friend, Tasha. One day, Tasha, I'm going to drive this engine, and I'll take you with me. Promise you will, Burnett. Promise. I promise. This engine was vital to the magic that held these worlds together, but only Burnett knew that. Shining Time Station Manager Stacy Jones speaking. Oh, yes. The 1015 from Pelican Falls to Shining Time is right on schedule. You're welcome. The 10 o'clock to Lucy's Leap is leaving now. Oh, Billy. I found this child's drawing in an old locker in the Lost and Found. Look at the signature, Billy. Burnett Stone. <laughs> It's hard to believe Burnett could have ever looked that happy. Oh, Burnett had a wonderful smile. And he loved railroading, too. How did you find me? I found the entrance to your workshop ages ago. But I would never tell anybody. See that switch on the wall? Flip it off. I guess there is something mysterious about this mountain. Yeah. All mountains have their secrets, Patch. Shouldn't surprise a kid like you. Can I help you, Mr. Stone? Sure. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why is she locked up? She isn't. She's safe from harm. Long ago, I made a mistake as Lady's caretaker. An evil diesel found Lady and threatened to destroy her. He chased her, used up all her coal. He made her go too fast. And then he crashed her. And I brought her here. I tried my best to fix her up. But I've never been able to make up for the mistake I made. And I've never been able to bring her to life. To make her steam. Patch. She's as precious as gold. Vinci, you captured the real me. I mean, that, that's beautiful. I, I could cry. Uh, <laughs> all right, listen, you two. I, uh, I got a job for you, Sludge. Actually, it's, it's a splatter. <clears throat> and, and Dodge. I ain't got time to say both names. Oh, oh, well. I've come back to find a steam engine. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not the one I want. She escaped me once before. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed, 
destroy? Did you say destroy? D word. Like hurt? Yeah, destroy. Uh, there's one small problem there. Paul. Yeah, Mr. Conductor's coming, and he won't let you destroy. Uh, he won't let you not. I can do whatever I want. I'll get him too. <laughs> With pitch. <laughs> oh, pitchy. I hate it when you do that. <laughs>